everybody welcome back to the channel it is like it here and in today's video we're going to be talking about the brand new boss fight or the event that is coming to amalgamations island as an update this is going to be happening pretty soon so stick tuned in today's video as i'll be telling you guys the release date of this event or this boss fight and also everything you need to know about the boss fight before it happens um with that said make sure to like and subscribe if you guys haven't already it's very appreciated we could be close to getting 16,000 subscribers very soon and also make sure to um, go in the description below for all my social medias and stuff like that and with that said let's go ahead and get right into it so two major things before i do get started is the release date and also some major information that you probably need to know about the boss fight before you enter it the first thing is the release date which will happen on february 10th which is going to be saturday this saturday depends on when it's going to release if it's going to be early in the morning for you or later in the day hopefully it's in the middle of the day because that's when most of you guys are on for me so hopefully praying that it's going to be around 2 p.m est for me um but also another thing i want to put in is that they basically recoded everything for this boss fight this boss event um it will transport you to another server probably um but basically everything you'll see in this boss fight is going to be recoded the scripting is going to be more clean and there's going to be a lot of new things that you haven't seen in amalgamations island before that you're going to see in this boss fight which is very exciting to hear some things about this boss fight that you probably need to know is one you are only going to be able to play as an ogre the ogre is the only thing you'll be able to use in this boss fight and you'll probably see a lot of animations that are new to the ogre or stuff like that since it's going to be recoded a lot another thing is you cannot bring in tames as you know you can tame stuff as an ogre you will not be able to bring them into the boss fight as it will not be um, available for those creatures um, as the flying mechanics and everything are totally different and it wouldn't be able to be used um, in the boss fight at all. So this boss fight is basically going to happen on a map or the current map basically um, which will be teleported to another map. I'm pretty sure I'm, I hope I'm not confusing anybody um, but basically this map that they have is going to be half the size of the current map so it's not going to be a tiny one where there's barely any room to fight anything it's going to be half the size of the map that they have now in the Amalgamations Island game. So just let that sink in a little bit how big this map is probably going to be. Um, another thing is the um, creature itself um, is going to be pretty OP. He will be able to destroy buildings that Ugo's build. And he also does have an instant death attack, um, which is not the fire breath if you're asking or you're questioning if it's going to be that attack. I don't know necessarily what attack it's going to be but they did say it's not the fire attack this also means with the revamped um, of the whole scripting that there will not be any survival parts of this game the only thing is stamina and probably health of course there will not be hunger or thirst so you will not have to worry about that when fighting this boss and they did say that this boss is probably going to take around 15 minutes if you're good um, and probably a little bit longer if it's kind of hard for you um, you will also have four lives when you are fighting this boss, meaning if you die once and you haven't died before that, you can also respawn and keep fighting. You will have four lives to live, and then once you live the fourth one, you will just have to probably sit there and wait. Um, another thing is about the boss is it will have awards, of course. Um, it will have a new creature that you'll be able to get called the Terra. I'm not going to do the whole name because... That is too much um but it is called the terra for short um people will be able to get it once the battle is won you will also be able to get it if you do die say you live all those four lives and you do eventually die and you're st the battle's still going you will still win it um after the battle is won but if everyone dies and loses you don't get it so don't worry if you do die and they literally killed it right after you died you will still be able to get it and another silly question someone asked is if you're allowed to record the fight um yeah that's part of the game you're allowed to record that another major thing um since we're getting the major stuff out the way is will there be mobile support for the fight the question is no or the answer is no basically mobile will not be able to 
be in this fight and they probably won't be able to play at all in the fight. So if you are a MOBA player, I'm sorry, you probably won't be able to play this. Um, but if you go on PC and I'm pretty sure console, um, then you will be able to fight the fight. Um, but if not, you will not be able to, which kind of is disappointing for people who only play on mobile, but it's probably because the game's going to be so advanced with the boss fight because it's a whole rescript that they didn't have much time and if they were to add mobile support it would add even more time um, to when this would release. This boss is not going to be impossible to defeat as apparently they have defeated this boss many times while testing it. Um, so it will probably be hard but it's not going to be impossible. Just want to put that out there to people who are kind of worried about that. Um, and if it is kind of too impossible to defeat in the very beginning of the update, um, they will probably change it later on where the... Um, it, they'll basically nerf it if it's too strong for everybody. So if someone's complaining, if all of them are complaining. Another small thing, but um, definitely something important, is there is going to be cutscenes with this um, boss event, which is very exciting to hear as many games don't use cutscenes, um, especially creature games. I know, of course, story games and stuff on Roblox do, but with creature games, you don't really see that, and that makes it very awesome that they're going to be using cutscenes. I'm excited to see what those cutscenes are going to look like um, and how they're going to play into the game um, and possibly add on some stuff to the lore too which would be very exciting to see and one thing that probably you're asking is how do you begin the fight well basically you have to reach ironclad which is the place that the boss fight will probably take place explore the map follow the torches if you can't find your way so if you can't se seem to find your way to the boss when you reach ironclad you just follow torches and they will show you where the boss is so i'm guessing when you get onto this island or map or however it's going to be um, when you get there it's going to basically let you explore and not fight the boss right away that is what i'm getting from this question and answer um, and then you can follow the torches to the boss to fight it which i kind of like that if that is the case because then it gives you time to get ready with the people that you're fighting with and then you basically can just fight it when you're ready this event or this update with the boss fight will last forever as long as someone's hosting it. I'm pretty sure you have to play with multiple people. It can't just be you fighting the boss yourself. So as long as someone is hosting the actual event or the boss fight, it will still stay in the game and it's not going to disappear anytime and it's not a limited boss fight, which is really good. So that is basically all the information they have given us so far. I'm pretty sure there's probably more and if you have any more information that I've missed because I did miss the question and answer uh, event that they had a few days ago, um, then please do comment down below the information that I did miss. If it is correct, please don't spread in misinformation because I will be watching. Um, also, if you do have questions yourself, please do let me know in the comments below um, as I will try my best to answer them or if the developers who are watching this could answer them if they want to um, they can do that as well so yeah i hope you guys did enjoy this video um, let me know what you guys think about the event and the boss fight and if you're excited for it and with that said let's uh, just end the video now bye